Hey everybody, Johnny here. I wanted to go over real quick with you a new feature that's been added into the Blender 3.0 code base. This new feature for geometry nodes allows you to specifically assign materials to your geometry. Let's get into it. Here I've got an object with a geometry node tree on it. I've also got a second object with several materials added so that I have them available. Back on my geometry nodes object, you can see that this object doesn't have any materials applied to it. To assign a material to this object, I simply need to go to the Material, Material Assign node, and then I'll choose a material. If we add in a Join Geometry node and a Mesh Primitive, say a cylinder, we can duplicate our Material Assign node and give it a different material. Let's say we add some points to distribute on this object. We'll create an icosphere, and to our main object, we'll do a point distribute. And then we'll choose to instance the icosphere. You'll notice that the icospheres don't have a material assigned to them. If we add our material assign after our point instance, we can choose the material then. If we join back in our original geometry, we can see now that we have three different materials assigned. One of them to the original geometry, one to a generated mesh primitive, and a third to an instanced object. Lastly, you'll see that the Material Assign node has a selection attribute. This is a mask for applying the new texture. Let's add a vertex group to our original UV sphere. Now we're assigning the blue material to the whole sphere, but I'll duplicate this node, change the material to yellow, but use the selection mask for the vertex group. One thing to note, is that for the masks to work, anywhere where it's zero is false, and anywhere where it's greater than zero is true. And since vertex groups fade from zero to one between the assigned vertices and the unassigned vertices, this whole band becomes masked. If I were to add in some extra loop cuts, we can get more precise placement. Another node that's been added in addition to the material assigned node is the Material Input node. If I go to Input, Material, you'll see that I can select Material and then use it to drive some of my node sockets. If you need to assign materials to multiple nodes at the same time to the same material, you can use this method. So that's the two new Material nodes that have been added to Blender 3.0. I encourage you to download a new build and check them out for yourself. If you're downloading the pre-built builds off of builder.blender.org, these two nodes will probably show up in the May 21st build. I hope this inspires you to make something awesome. If you're enjoying the channel, please hit subscribe. So until next time, this is Johnny, and I'll catch you later.